Welcome to episode 11 of Literature with Hayden. Um, today I'll be reviewing the book, um, The Tragedy Paper, by Elizabeth Lobin. Um, and I'll be reading poetry. Um, I haven't been that focused on my, my poetry lately, so I only have uh, two new poems done. So, yeah, and I was kind of sick for a little while, that's why I haven't made any. And I've just been, school's been crazy. And um, I'm going to be in the play, so I've had like play practice and stuff, and everything's just been crazy. So anyway, um, I'll start off with the book review. That's what the front cover looks like. Um, anyway, uh, so I came across this book. Um, there was like all these new books, like titled the uh, top teen like books on Amazon or whatever. And I usually don't read like teeny boppery books and stuff like that. Like I read James Patterson and a bunch of other stuff, but I don't usually like, read teenage like, themed books or books about teenagers and, teenagers and stuff. But, like, I came across this one, and this one sounded really good. And, um, it was about this kid named, uh, Duncan. And, uh, he was there last year. He was the kid. Like, like, the person that goes to the school, like, they leave a gift for the new person that's going to stay in their dorm. So there's this kid named Duncan, and he leaves, um... Uh, a gift for the new kid named Tim, and like it's um, and it just turns into he finds out a secret that like happened last year at the school that infected everyone and just turned out really bad, like really crazy. And I got that mixed up. Tim is the new kid or the old kid, and Duncan's the new kid. But um, anyway, yeah. But anyway, it's like a really good book. And it wasn't all teeny boppery romance and stuff. I actually really enjoyed it. And most of the books that I bought off that list were not, um, like, teeny boppery. Uh, I bought The Fault in Our Stars. That was, that was teeny boppery, but I really liked that book. Like, I'm not going to lie. I really liked it, and I'm really excited for the movie. Uh, about Rapture Practice by Aaron Hetzler, or Hetzler. I don't remember, but um, I haven't read that yet. Um, I read this one, and this one was good. Um, yeah, but anyway, it's a really good book. Um, I don't want to give away too much, uh, without ruining it. And this is the lady's first book. This is the author's first book. And for her first book, she did a really good job for being a new author and having to compete with all the other, uh, more professional and, like, been around longer authors and stuff that have wrote way more books and are better known. So I really, yeah, she did a really good job with her first book, and I really hope she writes some more. Um... Uh, let's get on the poems. There's only two. Um, the first one is called Blindness. It's your blind, and it says you're blind to the truth. You've been acting strange lately. Now, like you're not yourself, someone else. Snap out of it and break free. Okay, the next one is called Love Poem. Um, you can be Daisy. I'll be Gatsby. Our love will last forever, no matter what. Through the worst of times, through the best of times, you'll be my beacon, my shimmering green light, rescuing me from my despair. So, um. It might be like my poetry. I really work hard on it. I mean, it may not seem like that because I just have them, like, already prepared and stuff. But I kind of think about it and I have to, like, listen to it. Like, sometimes I have to listen to, like, certain songs and stuff to just, like, get me in the mood to write poetry and stuff. And just, like, some of the song lyrics and stuff and songs just really help me get ideas for my poems. So I hope you enjoyed the poems. Um, go and check out the Tragedy, tragedy Paper by Elizabeth Laban or Laban or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um... But yeah, it's on Amazon and it's not it's not too expensive but it's not too cheap. I don't know, the price may have gone down, but go and check that out. Um I found a bunch of new cello songs I like to play, so I'll probably make some cello videos. I know I always say that and I never have made a cello video since I've said that forever ago, but I've just been busy and I probably will actually make a cello video. And I hope it's still in tune. I haven't played it in a while. So I hope it's in tune so it sounds fine. But yeah, there'll be some more movie reviews and I should have started this early, but I've been busy. I really, like, this whole month, I wanted to, like, watch scary movies and just, like, review them the whole month. But, um, that didn't work out so well because I haven't been able to find time to make a video except for right now because we're on our school fall break, fall break or whatever. But, um, I should have some reviews up. And then after October's over, maybe I'll just do it on the 31st or something. I don't know. But, um, I'll review Gravity and everything. So, um, thanks for watching. And make sure to check out the... Treasure Paper by Elizabeth Laban. Um, and make sure to watch some of my other, other videos. If this is your first video of mine that you've seen, go back and watch some other ones. Uh, 
Uh, most of my popular ones have been my uh, reactions to movie trailers, so I'd go watch The Conjuring and The Curse of Chucky and, uh, and uh, Evil Dead and go check out a couple of those, and I have some really uh, good movie reviews that I thought, I mean, I thought I did a good job, and I put in a lot of time into, like, intros and stuff, so, um, so thanks for watching, and